How to change Shopify contact form. My name is Kraus and in today's tutorial we are going to go over everything needed to successfully edit the contact form on Shopify to your likings. Now we are going to go over everything in depth so without further ado let's just start with this video. Now basically there are many different ways of actually doing this. A lot of other guys are actually going to tell you that you do need to install some fancy apps which are then actually also going to cost money and so on. On. However, in general, I wouldn't recommend you to do this because first of all, it probably will cost money and secondly, uh, basically if you're going to install a lot of apps onto your store, this will also significantly decrease the overall loading speed of your store, which can then overall also result in lower conversion rates for your store. So rather we are going to edit everything right in Shopify. Now we are going to use the dawn theme for this, however no worries guys if you are going to use the refresh theme, sense theme and so on, this is going to work for every method out there. So to get started you basically do want to ask yourself the question on how you actually want to display the contact form on your store. Now by default basically it isn't going to be visible, as you can see this would be my homepage right now and the contact form isn't visible anywhere. So let's just quickly go to pages right here and let's just add a new page called contact. Okay? Then as for the content of this, as you can see this is going to be completely blank for now, however we will just have to head over to online store right here on the right and then we will have to change the theme template to contact right here. Now you only do have one contact theme template so make sure to actually select that exact theme template then just select this and click on save. So now if we are going to view this page right here on the top right you can see that we do have this contact form but by default this doesn't really look nice so let's actually now go over on how to customize this. So first off you can just head over to online store on the left click on customize to open up the Shopify theme editor. Now I assume most of you are already familiar with this. Basically right here on the left you do have all of the different elements of your website and when you are going to select uh, each of these you are going to have the different kind of settings on the right. You can also change the view of your website and so on. However what we are basically uh, going to do right now is changing the view from home page to just click on pages right here, we're going to change the view to contact page. Okay, So this is then going to allow us to actually get started editing this. As you can see right here on the left under template we can see this page section right here. We can change up the padding if we do want to and so on. And then right here under contact form we can also change this up. So for example uh, if you actually do want to change basically change the headline right here if you do want to add a headline you can also edit this to maybe something like uh, do you want to reach out to us and then this is actually going to be added. Now as you can see right now I do have a custom font for this because I actually made a tutorial about this in one of my previous videos but for you this is actually going to be the default font of your Shopify theme. However if you do want to change this theme you will just have to head over to theme settings on the left and then under typography you can either change this right here or you can alternatively also watch my previous video on how to actually add custom fonts onto your Shopify page so that you can actually use any font that you want. But let's now continue. So as for the heading size we can actually also change this up. We can select small, medium or large right here. We can also change up the color scheme to any of these. Now if you do want to actually edit the color scheme you can do so by once again heading over to theme settings on the left and then clicking on colors. Now the theme settings basically work as the general uh, settings for all across your website. So if you are going to edit things right here this is automatically going to be updated. As for the actual color colors of your store you can use tools like coolers.co to actually generate color palettes for your store. Now these aren't always going to be perfect. However this can actually give you a good idea on what could work for your store. Okay, So then let's actually continue with this. We can also change up the section padding and so on. However let me now actually show you how you can actually customize these fields right here. So I will actually now in this tutorial delete the phone number section right here and I will also show you how to actually change up uh, the different kind of texts inside these boxes within Shopify. So let's actually get started, just click on save right here and then opt out of this 
And now you will once again have to select the theme that you want to actually uh, edit. In this case, this would be the Dawn theme. Now, just for the sake of actually backing everything up so that you aren't going to lose all of your content uh, when you're going to make a small mistake. Trust me, I've been there. It's really annoying. We are actually going to click on the three dots right here and we are going to click on edit code. Then just head over to the search files function right here on the top left and look for contact and then minus form right here. As you can see, this is going to be the contact form .liquid. Now we are just going to simply double click on this. Now, once you've opened this, you will just have to copy all of the code inside this. Uh, you can just use command or stirk plus a for this. So just copy this and then add a new section right here on the left called, uh, uh, let's just name this contact form backup and then make sure that that liquid is actually uh, selected. Click on done and then just paste this onto this thing right here so that you have everything set up as a backup so that you can't really lose any of your content. Now, basically now our contact page does look something like this. However, let me now show you how to, for example, delete this phone number section right here. So to do so, you will just have to open up this contact form .liquid file, uh, and then you will have to actually search for, you can just use command plus F or stirk plus F for this. Then you will just have to search for phone right here. And then you are going to have this phone section right here. Now, basically HTML works like this. You are going to have your div class right here. Uh, and if you, for example, do then want to actually delete the phone section, um, you do want to actually delete all of the div section. Okay. So this div class field right here is actually the beginning. So we are just going to drag this to the end right here. You can actually see the end uh, with this little backslash right here. This is going to be the end for the div class. And then we are just simply going to delete this. Okay. And then when we are actually going to save this, we can preview our store. So let's quickly view our contact page. And as you can see, now the phone number section isn't visible on our contact page. You can also change the text right here. Um, to do so, we are simply going to head back to the theme editor. Now for this, we aren't actually going to mess around with the code because there is a way easier way of actually doing this. We're rather going to opt out of this and then click on the three dots and just click on edit default theme content right here. And then right here, we basically do want to filter for the content that we do want to change on our store. So if we do, for example, want to change up the comment section right here, we would then just have to filter for comment. And then as you can see, if we're actually going to scroll down right here under contact form, we can change this. So we are, I'm just going to simply change this to something like, let me know what you think. Then I'm simply going to save this right now. So if we're now actually going to refresh this site right here, as you can see, this successfully got updated. However, by now, this contact page isn't actually visible on our store. As you can see, you can't really access it through the head right here, as well as through the footer. So to actually change this, just head to the navigation settings right here on the left, click on the main menu right here, and just add a new menu item. The menu item in this case would be under pages and then would be the contact form. And now the name automatically gets added essentially. So just add this onto the store, click on save. And if we're now going to actually refresh our site, as you can see, now this contact page is accessible as well. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.